Hi there, and welcome back to Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. It's been a few years, I've been teaching chemistry and haven't made many videos, uh, but I've started working on physics classroom with my students. And so this is a question that comes from uh, physics classrooms, uh, concept builder uh, titled Solve It in the Newton's Laws section. Um, so we're going to just go through the problem. We're going to talk about how to uh, construct the, the uh, force diagram that you see there, as well as how to calculate all the answers. So we see the problem says a frictional force of 112.2 newtons acts upon 13.55 uh, 13 kilogram rightward moving box to accelerate it leftward. First of all, let's just stop there a moment. Since the box is moving rightward, the only thing friction could do is oppose that motion and move it leftward. Then we see that we have to draw a force diagram, calculate and label all the forces, and calculate the acceleration. In the app, um, or in the concept builder, there's just a bunch of boxes you have to fill in. So I replaced it with these directions for what you need to do. So first thing, let's think about all the forces that are on this box. Okay, first of all, our, our object, whatever it is, we almost always draw it as a box. We put a dot in the center to recognize kind of that the whole object is being pushed by these forces. So we see in the directions here that it says there is a, uh, a force that's going to accelerate it leftward. That means that there must be a force causing that, and we're told that that force is the force of friction. Okay. Um, then we know that everything near the surface of the Earth is accelerating, uh, is being pushed uh, downwards or pulled downwards by the force of gravity, the attraction between the Earth and the object. Sometimes that is also called weight. Um, and then since this is resting on a surface, it's being pushed rightward across a surface. We could draw that surface in if we wanted to. Uh, but that surface is pushing up on the box with a normal force. Um, and because it's not accelerating up or accelerating down, we know that the normal force and the force of gravity must be balanced uh, because there is no vertical acceleration. So we know that F normal equals F gravity. Okay, also known as the weight. So next, after we've drawn our force diagram, our next step will be to list our variables. Okay, we want to list our givens and our unknowns. Okay, so first our givens. First thing to do is just go through and look through the numbers, and then we'll look and see if there's anything else we need to include. Uh, we see that we have a force there of 112.2. To newtons and what is that it says it's a frictional force okay so the frictional force is 112.2 newtons then we see that we have another number 13.55 kilograms and that is the mass kilograms is a measurement of mass of the box so the mass is 13.55 kilograms all right and so then we might think we're done but we see we're going to have to calculate the force of gravity since we have to uh, calculate all of the forces here and so we might add in the acceleration that gravity causes or the acceleration of gravity which is 9.8 meters per second squared okay um, some people round it off to 10 we're going to go ahead and use 9.8 in this problem then we have a whole bunch of unknowns uh, we have to list any, any force, because it says calculate and label all forces. So force of gravity is an unknown. And I'll label that as a question mark with the units that I'm anticipating, which are newtons. Then we see the normal force is an unknown. Of course, as we already mentioned, once we've found the force of gravity, it'll be fairly simple to find the normal force since they are equal. And then, uh, so that gives us all our forces because we're given the force of friction. And then it says to be able to calculate the acceleration. So acceleration is, we would expect to be measured in meters per second squared. 
So now since we've got a few calculations, we'll run through our five steps a couple of times. Okay, so first let's go ahead and calculate the force of gravity, since that just happens to be the first one we listed. So step two, this was step one, listing our givens and our unknowns. Step two is to write our equation for gravity. Uh, F equals the F gravity, which you could also say is equal to the weight, is equal to the mass times the acceleration of gravity. Remember, if we let something uh, fall under only the force of gravity, it would accelerate at that rate. So we could use Newton's second law with just the force of gravity. So uh, because we're solving for the force of gravity, we don't need to rearrange it. Step four, we plug into that. I'm gonna leave out the W. You could use W instead of force of gravity. And our mass is 13.55 kilograms. And the force of gra or the acceleration caused by gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, so you get out your trusty handy dandy calculator or your amazing brain, however you're going to do this multiplication, and you get 132.79. Uh, and then we have kilogram meters per second squared. A kilogram meter per second squared is a newton, as we expected for the for a force. So now we've calculated the force of gravity, and because we knew, know that the normal force is equal to the force of gravity, we can just write F normal equals 132.79 newtons. All right, second, we need to um, calculate, or sorry, third, I guess, because we just did the first two things. So third, we have to calculate the acceleration. So step two, write down the equation. F equals MA. Now it's important to remember that this force is not just one force, but the net force. So we have to look at our three forces and combine them to figure out what the net force is. Now we see that in this case, the normal force and the force of gravity are in opposite directions and they're equal. So whichever direction we choose to be positive, we choose up to be positive. F normal is positive. The force of gravity is negative. When we add them up, they cancel. So our only force that's left is the force of friction. So that force must be our net force because that plus zero is still the force of friction. Um, so first we're gonna have to rearrange here uh, to solve for A. That means we're gonna have to get uh, A by itself. So we're gonna have to divide both sides by M. So that the m divided by m gives us 1, which just gives us a. I'm going to rearrange, rewrite that with the a on the other side, um, just because, I don't know, I like it on the left. But a equals f over m. We got that through algebra. And then we can plug in to our equation. a equals our force of friction, which, remember, was our net force. Okay, was 112.2 newtons. And then we are going to divide that by M. M is 13.55 kilograms. And so then we move on to step five, which is to calculate. We plug that into our calculator and we get 8.28 and then newtons divided by kilograms. Remember, newtons are a kilogram meter per second squared. The kilograms cancel, and that leaves us with meters per second squared. Okay, I'll step aside for a moment so you can get a, uh, a freeze frame of the work, all the work being done, uh, but that completes the work we have gone through. We have calculated and labeled all the forces and calculated the acceleration. Keep in mind, the concept builder uh, is, uh, generates random numbers, so when you get it, you'll have different numbers, but if you follow through the same process, you will uh, find all the answers. All right, until next time, have fun with the scientific adventures of Beard Man.